Okay, am I good to send this email? Right now? I feel like it's getting a little late, dude. I don't think people want to read an email at the end of the workday. That's fair. Should I send it in the morning? I don't know. A Friday email is basically like sending an email straight to the spam folder. Okay, well, they'll get to it when they get to it. Like, we don't need an immediate response. Sure, it's going to take them a few days to read it, but then we're going to be stuck in that no man's land of wondering if they've read it or not, and then we have to send the requisite bump. I don't want to be having bump conversations. No. How about next Monday? If you're worried about the Friday pile, I feel like Monday is a one way ticket to the bottom of the Friday pile, right? How about next Tuesday? Next week's the week before a three day weekend, so people are already going to be like, right. by Tuesday, you're already like panicking, trying to get on weekend plans together. All right, let's check the calendar here. What do we got? What do we got? How does next next week sound? It sounds perfect, but mm -hmm. if they don't respond right away, we're screwed, right? Because you wait the requisite week and a half to send the bump. Uh -huh. Then, oh, hey, whoops, it's 4th of July. 4th of July. Yeah. So we got to start the bump cycle post-Independence Day. Oh, right. Got to get past July 6th Park. Sure. So maybe Obviously. that was mid-July. Well, I mean, that's putting us now firmly in summer, right? People are going to start taking their vacations. So yeah. July's out, August is out. Yeah. Now we're in September. And September's really tough for parents. They got all the back-to-school stuff. Yeah. And it's really tough for non-parents because they all want to go leaf peeping. And then you got to avoid Labor Day, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, weekend, weekend, weekend. Wait, 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 wait. This is perfect. October 2nd. I got a dentist appointment. I just had that. I it was very quick recall. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we should probably block out the next few weeks in case there's follow ups. And there will be. I haven't brushed for a couple of months. Okay, well, then that takes us all the way to mid late October Halloween season, which is a terrible time for non spooky themed emails. Yeah, and then pretty soon the whole town is shutting down because November 1st is basically Thanksgiving, which is basically Christmas. Christmas. And then no one's answering emails between Christmas and New Year's, which puts us in the beginning of January, and then now everyone's in their like new year, new me phase. I think that could be pretty good. People are getting in a new routine. So you get an email and you're like, yeah, let's get things started. Ah, but I don't want to put that pressure on people, you know? Having them have to check their emails while they're trying out like a new meditation routine or like a new exercise, like P90X people will start or something. Okay, so Jan is for self betterment. We leave that for everybody. Yeah. You look to Feb. Early Feb is just like the ramp to Valentine's Day, so that's tough. You want to go mid Feb, but yeah. Feb is such a short, short month. month. So mid Feb is basically late Feb, at which point, Cross Feb out, go Mar. Mar 1? Mar 1, though, that's getting us into March Madness. Yeah, and March of the Penguins. St. Patty's Day? No. Everyone's going to be too hungover. Start of Ramadan? No. People aren't going to be hungover enough. April 1st? They're going to think it's an April Fool's Day, That's right? true. April 2nd? April 2nd is basically April 3rd, which is my birthday. Okay. Make a note of that. April 4th, not fair to you. Give yourself a birthday Thank bumper. You. April 5th, to me, sounds too much like April 15th. And then people are going to be like worried about Oh, the mouthfeel is going to bring him to tax season, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, well, then that means rest of April's no go, right? We got yeah. Easter, we got Earth Day, that puts us into May, Cinco de Mayo, obviously the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. And then now everybody's getting work fatigue, wanting to go on vacations again. <sighs> June. June, a year from now. No, three years from now. Looking ahead. That is really good. Do the math. Because that hops past a couple of Olympics I was really worried about. <laughs> Did we do that? Yeah. So I'm doing a pre-scheduled delivery for June three years from now. Love it. Just read it back one more time. Hey, everyone. Would love to get a lunch of the books. Let's chat schedule. I'll circulate a later email. That's perfect. Send. Boom. And we can just bail if it gets a little too busy around that time. Junes are usually tough for me, yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like, and maybe check out our Patreon. You can see stuff like this there before it's available anywhere else. We just put a brand new sketch up there. It's the first ever fully animated thing. We made it with Caroline. You can watch it right now. We're really proud of it. And hey, comment in the comments. When would you send an email? Well, think about it. When would you? When do you think we should have sent the email? Okay. <laughs>